So this is your Panasonic controller. You won't have much interaction with this. These are, this is your three channel time clock for each of the three zones in the house. During heating season, all three of these will be on if you want heat in those spaces. The easiest thing to do is press the select button and turn on and off the zones. Once you have them on, the next job is to set the temperature, which is done on the thermostats. So currently showing 10 degrees and the little flame symbol is up and it's looking for heat and it's looking for reds and it's in heating mode here. So to set the temperature, you just press up and down. It's advised that you set all your stats on each level. Well, set your ground floor stats to the same temperature, say 21 degrees, and set your first floor stats to the same temperature upstairs, say 18, 19, 20 degrees, whatever you want. So keep all the stats at the same level at the same temperature, it'll just work more efficiently. The heat pump controller is quite simple. You won't have much interaction with it, but it's currently showing the hot water temperature is 14 degrees and the outside temperature is 10. This just means the flow temperature is 12. The only interaction I'm gonna have with it here now is I'm gonna just turn on the heating, sorry, the heating symbol and the hot water. So, and when you set the hot water, that means it is demand for heating. It'll soon switch over to hot water and the hot water set to 48 degrees. It'll do a Legionnaire cycle every Friday at 3 a.m. And uh, that's it. So your main interaction really is turning on and off the heating and setting your temperature on your stats. You don't have to, to interact with this controller, but you just make sure that the tap symbol and the heating symbol is up on it. And that's your hot water temperature.